I would like to share with you a, a comment of the Meshe Chochma. Uh, the comment is made in uh, Bereshit Perik Kaf Bet Pasuk Yud Dalet. And uh, he's quoting a Midrash. Sham Kara Oto Shalem. He's talking about uh, the area of the Shalim, which is called Shalem. Shame Kara Oto Shalem. Shame called it Shalem. And Abraham called it Yirae. Amar Kadosh Baruch Hu, Im Kore Ani Oto Yirae. If I call it Yirae Fear, Kashem She Kara Oto Avram, like Avram called it, then Shame, who is an, a righteous man, Mitraim, he'll be up, upset. Vim Koreani Oto Shalem, if I call it Shalem, Avram Adam Sadik Mitraim, then Avram will be upset. Ela Hareni Koreoto Yerushalayim. I'm going to call it Yerushalayim, which is a combination of Yira and Shalem. Vahainyan, and says Meshechochma, the issue is, Ela, the Shame Hayabador Hamabud, the Shame comes from the generation of the flood. Vahayabateva, and he was in the ark with his father. Vazano Firnes Kolan Ibrahim Shambateva, and he sustained everything in the ark. Vahika, Hayal Takain Hamidot Vapulot Shehema Hem Hayumushatim. And shame stands for the uh, putting together the people, repairing all the damage that was done. Shehishrit Kol Basar Darko, because there was a lot of problems, Ben Adam Lechaviro. The whole point of shame was to people's midot, their ethics, their morality between each other. And that's what shalem is about. Shalem is that everyone should be united, everyone should be together. And everyone is part of one human being, each person is a limb. And everyone needs their fellow, Mushpa Umashpia Zemize. We influence and are influenced from each other. The Kulamke Echad no sin kiyu min ha enoshiv and its kiyuto. So we're all part of mankind and keeping man together. That is the meaning of Shalem. The Hine Yushalai, the Nuya of Schneiderim Yushalai is made of two things. Hainu le Zakecha Muskalot Shikaron Bemoach, Ule Takeno le Kashet Hamidot Shikron Belev. To work on the Moach, the Yirat Hashem. And to work on the Bein Adam lechaviro the Shalem. Yerushalayim is a combination of Bein Adam lemakom Yira'a Yira'e and Bein Adam lechaviro, which is Shalem Shleimut. And it's very interesting to note that um, the first Israeli government that was united, that came together as a unity government, was on the eve of the Six Day War. Uh, until then, the left and right had been at each other's throats. Menachem Begin was in opposition and remained in opposition. The various uh, uh, arguments between Ben Gurion and uh, Menachem Begin are well documented. Levi Eshkol called Menachem Begin to the government, and uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that that very same year, uh, that very same week as it happens, we we got Yerushalayim back. Yerushalayim is Ir Hatzedek. It's the it's the city of the world that represents Ben Adam Lemakom and Ben Adam Lechaviro. When we're coming to Yom Atzmut and Yom Rishalayim, I think it's, it's something that's very important to consider. A number of weeks ago in Parashot, Achrei Mot and Kedoshim, we learned the Pasuk that says V'chai Bahem. And there are a lot of different interpretations of the Pasuk V'chai Bahem. You should live by them. We know it's the, it's the definitive argument by Shmuel in the Gemara about Pikuach Nefesh. Uh, and there are many, many different understandings of the Chai Bahem. I put it to my family on Yom Atzmot and Kav Achom and Yom Yerushalayim that uh, these days are the most important days in the Jewish calendar. And I got this inquisitive look from my family. How so? There's Yom Kippur, there's Pesach, Rosh Hashanah. What do you mean these days? They're not even in the Jewish calendar in the Torah. They can't be. They never happen. And what I said to them was as follows. The... Um, all of our festivals are based on things that happened a long time ago. Uh, we try very hard to make them relevant today in every effort. Like we're going to come up to Matan Torah in a few weeks. We're going to talk about the fact that Shavuot doesn't have a date because every day is Matan Torah. On Pesach, Bechol Dov Ador, Chayav Adam, we wrote it that small, Ke'ilu Hu Yassam in Mitzrayim. All of these things come up all the time. Uh, and we work very, very hard as teachers, as rabbis, as parents uh, to make the things that happened two, three thousand years ago, extremely relevant. But these days, Yom Ha'atzmut and Yom Rushalayim are happening now. Uh, the instruction of the Chai Bahem 
I think, means to see God now. Not just then, but now. Uh, we, we have to celebrate those days and we celebrate them besimcha. But it would seem to me almost inconceivable uh, not to see God's hand now and what he's doing now. Yom Atzmaut and Yom Shalom. These are days that are unbelievable. The essence of Yom Shalom, the days before the Six Day War, they were thinking of evacuating children out of Israel. The joke in Israel was, last one out, turn the lights on. And, and six days later, we're back in Yehuda Shomron. Uh, incredible successes in the Golan. Hebron was essentially captured by Rav Goren on his own by mistake. Uh, these are miracles that are, that are beyond doubt and they're happening in our lifetime. Uh, we have been Zoche uh, to come back to Yerushalayim. We, here where I'm sitting, are, are learning in the old city of Jerusalem. I've been working here for 25 years and a day goes by when I'm not thankful to HaKadosh Baruch Hu of the incredible Zechut to be here in Yerushalayim, Iratika, uh, this day, Yom Yerushalayim, is such a special day. And it must be significant, I think, as well, that Yom Asmut is close to Pesach, Yom Yerushalayim is close to Shavuot. Pesach signifies the physical salvation of the Jewish people. Yom Asmut symbolizes the physical liberation of the Jewish people from the terrible aftermath of the Holocaust. Yom Yerushalayim is right next to Shavuot. Shavuot is the redemption of the Jewish people, the spiritual future of the Jewish people. And Jerusalem is a spiritual future of the Jewish people. Shia Chag Sameach.